to a different surround setting. Uh, we are at Fizz's bedroom and I am flying solo today because Alison is not here. I will go more into that in a minute. But what I'm going to tell you is, this is going to be quite a short video because I am on my own, as you can tell. And I've had to do it on my own because we are now in December. It's the 7th of December today. It's Saturday the 7th of December. And I am only showing you November. Because Pink Parcel decided that they had a problem and the boxes were sent out late. So, yeah. So we did manage to get them, I think it was the 22nd of December, uh, November, something like that. And it's supposed to have been sent. Oh. It's supposed to have been sent. Um, mine, mine comes 8th, something like that. Gets took out on the 4th and comes back four days later. It was, always follows last. And it still hasn't turned up. I've seen it today. So, <coughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you my story about why my hand isn't here. And I'm going to show you my new assistant. Because I have a new assistant today. She's very mute. <laughs> but, yeah. He's focusing on me. I don't even know. Um, so, this week, we've all been pooling. Uh, pooling to you people over there, over there, wherever you live. Means ill, sick. I've had a cold. My partner rob has had a flu my husband at work has had a flu and we seem to have just passed it on between everybody uh, and then alison's little boy matthew uh, has come up come down with some kind of neurovirus uh, and as we know he's not he's not a well child anyway he has um treatments for his immune system so it's sitting really bad and uh, he's literally been chucking his guts up all week so it's been like a sicky house over there and because i work with food i've had to quarantine her so she's in quarantine until it's been over and done with i can't go over there because if i catch that there's no way i can go to work and i need money so we are currently not together this week it's been a long fucking week and all sorry oh i got this far two minutes of vitamin no swearing so I'm going to do it on my own. <laughs> I'm going to fly solo today. Uh, it won't be fun, eh? It'll just be straight bob, 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 bob and done. Um, so, yeah, and uh, I want to give her a shout out and I hope that you're feeling better soon. So I'm having a brew in my mad at a cup because we have special cups on Pink Parcel and we always have a brew. So I thought it's keep with the tradition. So mug of the day, mad at her because we're mad. We're all mad here. So, yeah, let's keep it alive. So, I'm going to show you my um, new assistant. I don't know if you can see her. Ah! Oh! Come here. Come on then. Come on then. Hello. Come on, your fans are waiting for you. I have a diva dog who doesn't want to partake in anything <laughs> unless it's um, up to her. So, come here, come on, come on, Pippi, come on then, come on then, come on then, I have to do this stupid talk, come on, come on then, come on then, do you want to show everybody, let's show everybody you, this is my Alison today, she looks like a nutshell. No, this is Paisley, the bitchy chihuahua, and um, my dog. So yeah, as you know, Alison's got a Pumba, uh, Pumba the pug. Uh, we got them both at the same time. They're cousins, and this is the other one, who is, a, is it, she's proper bitcher. She's horrible, but we love you, don't we? Yeah, so. This is going to be my help for today. Let's see how far we get before she's under cushion. Right. Come on then. Oh, he's stuck. In the box. So the box has been delivered. Oh, and they said that they was going to get rid of her um, plastic. Did they not? Well, it came in a plastic bag. Because, obviously... 
I've got no sticker on it to say where it's come from. So that didn't last very long. Let's go on about Punk Parcel then. They're saying that they've got a problem. Um, why things were going to be late, I don't know. They haven't really said. They just said, oh, let's cut a, short, uh, a story short, blah, 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 blah. You're all going to get your parcels late, but we'll chuck in some extra <coughs> to make up for it, which is a bag of shit because I've had it before in a different box and it's crap. So I'm really not that bothered, if I'm honest. Oops. Well, I knew something had happened. See, I have a finger. I have a, an, <laughs> I have an iPad holder, but obviously it's over at her house. So we don't have one here. Oh, why have I gone? Why have I come forward? Oh, I didn't even know that I did that. Oh, okay. What about if I stuck me in the box? What do you see? Mm. I need something that I can. One minute. Why didn't I think of that? I'm probably going to end up face down now. <laughs> so. Let's go with the floor. I'm sorry about the little mishap. I know some of I said to Alison earlier on, you watch Shelf will fall off on my head. But no, the iPad fell on the floor. So there we go. So let's go with it. <laughs> So I have an ILU, and this says, treat yourself, beautiful, functional, active wear, 20% off, code TREAT20 on checkout. Beautiful, active wear, got real for the modern woman. Valid until the 31st of December 2019. There you are, if you want it. I am not an active woman, as you can tell. So, if you want to look like this, Go get yourself some. Treat 20 at the checkout. Right, I've got all my stuff. Everything's normal. I took these tampons out because I had to use them. Because obviously it will hurt. About the time my period come, I needed it. So. Hello. Help. <laughs> You're very useless. So, here we have the once box as you know right so I'm just going to cut it down with this straight away because I am not getting it out eh, in my bedroom <coughs> who where's this really lily of the valley Eau de Toilette, 14 mil, 0.5 fluid ounces, by Yardley London. It fucking stinks vile. Why? Who would want to wear this in this day and age? It is 2019. We are nearly at the end of it. And going into 2020, a new decade, and you're still bringing this bag of shit out. Come on now. Really? So... Oh yeah, and I have no pink parcel because I don't know how much anything is because they haven't sent anything. So I'm just going to make it up. 2p. Hey, I bet I couldn't do that again. In the bag. Right. There will be no taste test on this one either because I'm not doing that on my own. So the next thing is Highland and Whittle can't read that soap and herbal merchants uh nerole and rose and i think it oh it's a luxurious wash 30 mil let me try and read where it says on the back of here no it's not vegan either there you go 
<sighs> rose. So for Lily on the Valley, rose. I'm sure there's some lavender in there. I don't like that. Do you know when you go to like a cheap hotel and they give you them little miniatures? It's that smell. Like cheap, cheap soap. I know it's probably not. Highland and Whittle might be, um, well, they've got a, I don't know if that's a, cre a queen stamp. It's not, it's made in England. But I don't know, but it's shit. Anyway, so, yeah. Exciting times. 5p. <clears throat> this one I might use. And it's a charcoal peeling mask. A gentle bi botanical cellulose exfoliator by V, I don't know if that's VO or VQ. And it says, a gentle exfoliator made with by botanical cellulose, cellulose, charcoal powder, papier, mallow leaf and hydraulic acid to gently peel away dirt and dead skin, leaving your skin healthy and glowing. Directions. Apply a moderate amount to dry and clean skin. Massage gently in a circular motion for about two minutes and rinse off. I thought it... Massage gently in circular move for two minutes and rinse off. Did that not say peeling peeling gel? Peeling I'm thinking it's a peeling mask. Oh maybe I'm being thick. Let's have a look at this. So we've got a little um thing. But it's not black, I bet it's grey. They always are, aren't they? They're always grey. See, it's black mask. Oh, oh no, it's a it's a, a light black. It's a borderline dark grey. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, it's got bits and bops in it. It's yeah. It's a. a That smells like Avon. The whole thing's an Avon box. Yardley. That rosy thing. This. It's like Avon smell. I mean, I'm not dissing Avon, but I don't want to smell of it. Right, so this is what you get. <laughs> that effect. Lovely. Right. I might have to have a go on my face, but I'm not going to do it now. <sighs> I'll let you know in the next video. So it says, free from animal cruelty, parabens, mineral oils, paraflits, but I can't even say that word, because I've got an A after the P before the T and a H. Try clothes on, gluten and sodium laryl sulfate. It's also vegan friendly. Caution. For external use only, discontinue if irritation occurs and have contact with your eyes, rinse immediately. Oh, it's VQ Beauty uh, on Facebook and it's made in Korea. Oh, it's one of the Korea things, it? Koreans. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure that that's, it's like bumpy, it's like bumpy, bumpy skin. It's like when you peel your skin off. Mm. Okay. Next. Right, I'll go with a freebie. I've had this before in glossy box. Other boxes are available. Um, and it's a it's a shower gel for feeling your breasts for cancer. So it says, <clears throat> doing the best you can for your breasts. All the things should be kept abreast of news, current affairs, celebrity gossip. If it wasn't that she was a C2, a 32C last week. Don't forget your breast. Every year, 55,000 people are diagnosed with breast cancer. 10% of them late. Whilst feeling the ever-lining benefits of this melon, what else? Cleanser. Give your, give your boobs a jolly good feel. And remember, wearing 
where your health is concerned, another touch is a never a touch too much. And it says, uh, um, is it a tube? Is it a tin? Is it a cardboard box? No. It's recycle, man. And if you don't recycle all our packaging, he'll track you down and recycle you. That's Recycle Man. Really? Do we need to put him on there? No. Uh, and the thing is, Copperfield, knowing your boobs could save your life. Paraben free formula. It's not vegan friendly. Um, yeah. So, anatomical, anatomicals, boob tube, uh, boob tube, grab your melon shower gel. 250 mil. 8.4 fluid ounces. Smells like melons. Why can't you do that with any other shower gel? So they just made a shower gel just for your boobs. Mm? Really? I'm pretty sure the original source or soap and glory that I use does the same thing. You still feel about for breast cancer. Not that it's not a good thing. I just think you're making money off something. They don't need to be making money off something when you could sell something better in a better packaging because it looks shit. Thanks for free bear. <coughs> right. So we've got the shitty chocolate. Chock stars. Got a bit of Audrey Hepburn going on here, we can't. And it's Pets Rock. The well known individuals have not had an involvement in creation in involvement in the creation of the imagined that we have not approved them. No, this is not an approval being sought up by public of these images. Basically, they don't own copyright, but they're trying to waffle shit. Right, okay. Dark chocolate. That's all I'm going to, That's all there is. Made in Germany. 12.5 grams. Lovely. Stick it in somebody's Christmas box. Right. Something that I will do, I will try because it'll look good. Who's messaging me? Sorry. Oh, it's about bonus ball. All right. Stardust Pixie Bubble Mask Treatment with green tea and apple. An apple to moisturise and improve your skin clar clarity. Bio Miracle Skin Fem Therapy. And it's a bubble a bubble sheet mask. Oh, okay. There you are. A bubble sheet mask. I know, Joe, you'll think that wallpaper's horrible. I do. It's like... <coughs> very horrible, isn't it? It's supposed to be glitter, but it's not glitter. As you can tell. So it says, Bio Miracle Stardust Pixie Bubble Mask is made with green tea and apple. Delivers an intense hydration, nourishing and helps purify skin. This new inventive corpo sheet mask will help increase absorption into the skin for full benefits. Bio Miracle features 20 grams of 20 gram sheet includes green tea extract and apple, obviously. Helps to improve your skin to a more useful appearance and bubbles will... Dive deep into the skin's pores, eliminating them for impurities. So it's going to bubble up. And it says, unfold the mask, place on the face, positioning where the where the cut, positioning the cutout for your face. Smooth the mask over so there's no wrinkles or bubbles. Leave your leave on your face for twenty minutes and massage lightly. The bubbles that will come out of the sheet, the bubbles that come out of the sheet mask. Remove the mask and wash the bubbles off with water. When your skin is dry, you may resume your normal skin care regime. Right, okay. No paraben for all skin types. Alison, you might be able to use this for all skin types, but we don't know because you haven't got it yet. So, you're not missing, not missing a great deal. It's a shite box. I mean, I think out of everything, I think this is probably the only thing that you would try. And then maybe that scrubby mask. Because you're not wearing the hardware. No way. So, yeah, not testing animals, 
but don't say it's vegan. It's made in Korea. So I quite like that one. But how much is that going to cost? About three quid. So all together, I like something for three pound. So the tea bag we've got is tea. We are tea. Protect fighting fit. Oh, great. Who's Amanda Hamilton? I don't even know. With rose hip and elderflower. One whole leaf tea bag. A range developed by Nutrist, Amanda Hamilton. Nutrinist. Oh, here we go. Not that you're bothered. Wherever you are, bugs aren't far. Hey, eh? Maybe you need to borrow my cup of tea. You can't run, you can't hide, but you can protect yourself. Packed with rose hips, hibiscus and elderflowers. This blend delivers a natural genuine. What the fuck? I'm not French. G, ne, se, quoi. I don't know. I might have just said chicken cross the road. Will help keep you fighting fit. Amanda Hamilton is an, a neutralist. No, she's not. Neutrion. Neutrionist. Yeah. Neutrionist. Health expert, broadcaster, writer and consultant. Fucking hell, she's got a busy life, hasn't she? Whose passion is healthy nutrition. Top tip. Let nature guard you from those sneaky colds. Add and protect your daily routine and stay sniffle free. Well, Pink Parcel, maybe if you delivered it on time, we could have had this cup of tea and none of us would have that fucking flu. Maybe. <sighs> we believe it's small, everyday changes that makes a life real difference. Explore the range and discover your own at hashtag everyday good. Ingredients whatever that is. Rose hip, elderflower, olive leaf, calandundia, uh, hibiscus and holy basil. So we are tea.com. Uh, tea bag. So next box, I think we'll do one tea bag of mine and one tea bag of hers and we'll do a swap. Yeah. So you can know what it tastes like. Horrible. And the last thing in the box this month is Something quite good. Fur. 3D fucks. That's not what it says. Forks. Mink lashes. Handmade, vegan friendly, latex free and up to 10 wears. So we have false lashes. Which is good because I'm going to wear them on my Christmas night. I'll tell you, be able to tell you all about them if they're any good. Because normally what happens is when you put false lashes on, they come off in the corner. And if they're good ones, they don't come off and you can sleep in them. I do anyway. And if they're crap, they're just hanging off your eyeball while you're dancing on dance floor. Oops. <laughs> I'm having a bad day. Right. So it says, feels and look like, it feels and looks like fur. Oh, it's just my husband. Feels and looks like fur with our latest 3D fibre technology. Fur combines the latest design and technology to bring you a new advanced hybrid... Hybrid? Oh, it's a hybrid lash. Which delivers, an it delivers the advantages of both traditional and mink fur lashes. Step one. Measure and trim the lashes for the correct length. Always trim to the outer edge. Step two. Apply lash glue. Can be used on the natural lashes before applying the lash glue. Wait 20 to 30 seconds. Step three, apply the lashes on top of your natural lash line. Secure the lash close to your lash line as possible. Wait a few minutes for the glue to set. Do not place them too close to the inner corner of your eye. Otherwise, you're going to poke yourself in eyeball. Warning, keep out of the range of children if swallowed it all comes into... Why would you swallow... Why would you swallow... Warning, keep out of the reach of children if swallowed... Or comes into contact with your eyes, seek medical advice immediately. Where well, you're gonna stick these on top of your lip? Of course, they're gonna come in contact with your fucking eyes. But we're not all stupid enough to open his eyeball and pull the glue in it. Yep, so that's it. And it's at furlashes.com, handmade. 
and they've got the self in Instagram at fur lashes so yeah that's the other good thing about it but they are a bit um natural for me and I like come to be like wow I've had my eyelashes done do you know what I'm saying so but we'll give it, I'm gonna give them a go I'm gonna wear them at Christmas party see if I look nice see how long they last apparently it was 10 wears so I might try and wear them every day after that uh, but well so that's the box so we got Yardler. A sack of shit. Two things, maybe three at a push. Don't I don't quite like how that mask came out. Um, so the bubbly mask that I'm gonna definitely try because I love masks. You know I like masks, and the eyelashes. But everything else is all pile of shit. Disappointed. Disappointed I haven't got my friend with me. Disappointed that the box is a bag of shit. Disappointed it turned up late. And disappointed with the gift that you thought would be okay to give to me. Because it was late. With no explanation. Don't know how much anything is. Don't even know if I paid over the odds. So on that note, I'm giving this box, for the first time ever, a minus four. So, yeah. It is crap. And I think they shouldn't promise you what they are not going to deliver. Because they can't. They can't deliver it. So why say that you can? And then leave us hanging for over what? How many days? Seriously, it must have, I'm sure it turned up on 20... No, it kind of turned up on 22nd. It was later than that. Something like 28th. Did, oh, no, we got emails telling them that they're on the way in... Um, delivery order on the 22nd and i'm sure it turned up on 28th allison still had adders so i don't know what the fuck's going on with pink parcel but she better give him a, she better send him an email because i'll go mad i always go mad with them but i can't complain about it can i because they obviously sent me a gift to say sorry which is a shit gift but um, that's my opinion not everybody thinks same but if you want to have some boob rub comment below i'll send it you I get free postage this time of year. Oh, have you seen behind me? Look at Elf on the shelf. It fell off the shelf. I'm just hanging. It's just hanging, just chilling. So, yeah. It's just been another old shite box, really. Not impressed whatsoever. Not had no emails um, telling me what's going to be coming up in the next box because I don't. I think they've gone bust and fucked off and joined Magic Circus. Something's happened. But I haven't got a clue. To what? I don't know. So, yeah. It's been a weird video, this one, hasn't it? So, I'm sorry that you've only ended up with me. Uh, it's not as funny as normal. I'm not going to air anymore. And <laughs> I ain't got no aura about me. <laughs> but, yeah, I've had to do it. I've had to put it up because people are asking me um, where the box is. I mean, not people on YouTube. I mean, people at work, which are men. Just asking me, what the fuck's going on with this box, Fizz? Like, I know, I'm done, I'm going to do it. And then, obviously, we've all been ill. It happens. Shit, it, it, you know, we don't, I mean, you've had 12 boxes up to now. Um, no, sorry. You've had 12 videos up to now, I think. I think we have, anyway. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it might be 10. So many. Anyway, and I haven't done anything bad on any of them. So this is the first blip that we've had. So I am sorry that my friend, my helping hand, cannot be with me today. And my other helping hand is a bag of shit. Didn't really get involved. Just minded its own business. Paisley? Yeah. Anyway. Oh my god, I've got 30 minutes and I'm a 30 minute video. Wow, that's that's like a, a record time for us, isn't it? Don't normally come out with 30 minute videos. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I can't just sit here and wamble on to myself because it's not funny. It's not it's not good. Nobody's answering me. The cat, the cat dog. The dog cat. The stupid rat is just like chilling. 
ignoring me. My mate's in fucking quarantine. My box is shit. I feel like shit. It's Saturday night. And... What the hell am I going to do now? So, I look forward to seeing you if my next box does arrive. It must do, because I've paid for it. Whenever it arrives. Easter, maybe. I don't know. So, I will see you <laughs> in, in the week. That's all I can say. <laughs>